Eivor. Welcome. Join me in drowning this golden drink. You made it. Come, have a drink. You're a few horns deep already. <laughs> Yet still floating. Tell me, how did my old friend like his goblet gift? There were other things on his mind. Your man Ulfra, for instance. He died protecting the spoils he stole from Hafton. Ulfur. Poor Ulfur. I told him to mind your tongue, but he wags it like a slobbering dog. Was Hafton always so easily riled? No. Riches and glory have shaped him into something new. He is not the same man he used to be. What is this place? I expected an army ready for Warcraft. This was our first camp in Northumbria. I came here with Hafton and his brothers, Uba and Ivar. We besieged Jorvik and put King Alla in the cold ground. Those were good days, now too far gone. What is all this? My share of the treasure we took from those distant days. I buried it here for a rainy day. This bag is heavy with silver. Enough to pay for an army. Come! Race me to your army of the glories long gone. You're too drunk to win a race. Then have a drink. Make it fair. What's keeping you, friend Eivor? Waiting for spring? Sorry, but I'm not wanted to drink and drive. Best not fall off your horse. See you in your way. Well, the horse is in trouble, so how is this going to be here? <laughs> Having trouble in. keeping up. My horse must be deeper in the cups than I am. Going in your way, you haven't said. Paying a visit to our kept King Rishie. Long may he reign. I haven't enough men to beat the Picts alone, but with Rishier and his Fyrd, we'll finish them off. You'd bring a puppet king into this fight, but not your Jarl? Psh! Keep this to yourself. The streets have ears, the windows have eyes. I did not agree to this level of deception as before. Eivor, my friend. If I describe my full strategy, we might never leave the campfire. I prefer the light of a fire to the darkness of your plan. Wait. A favor I must ask of you. Make no mention that Hafton is ignorant of our plans. It's better this way. Are you mad? Rishia answers to Hafton. You put this man in grave danger. Never heard, no? Trust me. I will take the blame should our plan fall apart. Faravid's going to get killed. Eivor the wolf kissed and half done's cupbearer. What a curious surprise. I hope the day finds you and Jorvik well. Yes, we scrape by, with what little we still own. But this new war should make us wealthy once again. Until our tribute is taken. I smell the bile on your breath, King. Do not forget who is in charge here. Oh, do remind me, Faravid. Yesterday it was half done. But today, I hear whispers that you are leading the charge. I am confused. Yes, you answer to Hafton. And now, he orders one final strike on the picked stronghold at... Such a scale will require a hefty amount of silver and a large force of men. My soldiers and silver are pledged already. I expect the same from you. I have given my aid as well. The battle must be decisive. I see. And you have these orders from half done in writing, yes? From the great man himself? To be clear, King Rishia, Hafton knows nothing about this attack. Nothing at all? That's unusual, Faravid. Eivor is mistaken, Lord King. I was given Hafton's personal assurance that you would volunteer your troops. He expects as much. 
But Haftan is ailing and tired. Let us not burden him with more worry, but please him with a swift victory. I'm sorry, Faravid, but duty compels me to refuse. Without strict orders from Haftan, I will not risk the lives of so many. You deny me! I do. To gift you an army puts my wealth and reputation at risk. That's not what Haftan wants. He needs a strong and loyal king. You presume to know what Haftan wants. Without Haftan's formal approval, I cannot help. It's too great a risk. And after all, he is my ally. You understand? I break your arms for that. What were you doing? I saw no reason to hide the truth. Rishia is a Saxon puppet. He has more to lose than you and I ever will. That serpent cannot be trusted, Eivor. If he tells Hafton of our plan, our victory is at risk. Our victory is for Hafton's own benefit. We will secure Northumbria for him, along with the gratitude of all its Saxon and Norse sub. If we falsify orders from Hafton, Rishia will accept them. Cure of Jorvik could help. Good. Kjor's favorite alehouse is nearby. Seek him there. So we've just extended the quest. Great. <laughs> I'll cost you more than bread. Things you have better under your. Just where I hoped you would be. Eivor! Gods! You have come at just the right moment. Right then, watch this. Go home or get her friends. Don't bother who I please after I brick your face to the brains. Meet your face. There's drinking to be done. Who's with me? Eivor, always the fighter. Thank you, Wolfkist. Those men will wake up soon enough. With greater sense, I hope. What brings you back to Jorvik? Secret errands for Hafton. I need an army of men to face the Picts in the north. Has Hafton planned an attack he cannot afford? That's not like him. To be clear, Faravit made this plan, not Hafton. Does Haltan know of this plan, or...? He doesn't, but he's given me leave to act as I must, for reasons I cannot share. Yes, we've heard the rumors, and all our messages have gone unanswered. Can you aid me with some trickery? Help me forge a set of orders from Haftan himself, to force Rishia's cooperation. You will be taking quite a risk. You have my thanks. We can meet outside the Royal Hall, after you have the documents. I can out drink it all, rocks. Eivor, join me for a drink. Why? You both seem to have settled well in the city. Yes, we do enjoy the comforts we have here. But I still think about Norway. The cold and the warmth. Stay on the road safe, Eivor. I try to. Here, take this forgery and pray that King Rishia sees nothing Whoa. amiss. I trust you know Amazing. what you're doing. Straight from Hafton's hand, as you see. Hmm. Yes, yes. Well, if Hafton's loyal mules have pledged to fight, still, my help will come at a price. If you're speaking of coin, I remind you that your soldiers are mine. Hafton's, my good man. Hafton's soldiers, for these are Hafton's orders. Correct? But I jest. I jest. All is in order, then. If Haftan commands, I shall raise my feared, and you shall have your fighting army. Good. But 
This must happen soon. As soon as they are mustered, Lord Faravid, and no sooner. Eivor, a moment with you? I'll meet you at Stenweir. Faravid is Hafton's man. So are the Hemmings of Nottinghamshire, as are we here in Jorvik. But not you. I don't like talk that dances around thorns. <laughs> For whom are you? I fight for myself and my people. As any great leader must. Why ask me of loyalty? What are you seeking? An innocuous question. Loyalty is a word that slides off the lips like honey. Sweet to the taste, but never... There are things simmering in Northumbria, hidden from even you. Take heed, and have a care. Ooh, is he an order man? Faravid should be waiting at Stenway. Where are the Saxons? We need them to take that fortress. Patience. Rishie promised an army. What about Hjor and Lufvina? Lufvina is ahead with a dozen of Yorick swords. Come. Our Saxon allies have reached Magnus. We should march. Where did that guy fiddle with the hill? Like the sword? On the battlefield once more, old friend. Yes, my Jarl. As in days of old. Who are you to speak of the old days? The days when my word was bond. The days when the light of my glory lit the world. How dare you speak of those days as if they meant anything to a traitor like you? Who told you of this? My new ally is more loyal than my old friend. Eivor Two-Face. That is your name. Gently, friend. I told Hafton because it was my duty. Enough bickering, all of you. We are at the edge of war. Preserve your rage for the enemy. Actually, yeah, I should have said how dare you. We fight this battle and we end this war. At this moment, nothing else matters. Look there. The pigs send a message. Raven Tamer, with me. You will talk them into a surrender with your sword sharp tongue. <laughs> came in great numbers. I'm going to use that large... Turn tail and run scythe. back beyond the wall. The Romans tail. built that wall to keep us out. But they are gone. And we remain. Someday you too will disappear. Wall or no wall. We have more gods than you. We may have but one god hidden. But we have many more friends. Who now is the rightful king of Northumbria? What? The kingdom has spoken!
<laughs> well, now that guy doesn't have a weapon. I will have your head, Rishia! Get it, you little bastard dogs! Taste victory! And Rishia defeated. Was he the thorn at my back? The traitor I suspected all this time? Save your praise, Hafton. Rishia may yet live. That coward will be dead in a snowdrift somewhere. It matters not. This day is not done until we've seen his corpse. Do not relent. Not yet. Eivor, rise like an eagle or caw like a crow.
heading to the north. the spirits this day. Faithful counselor, please help me back to Jorvik. Let my heart expire at home. I have no favors left to offer you, Rishi. Soon. You will walk beside your guard. But I... I see no light. I feel no warmth. Only... an icy darkness. A, a cave. Hell's frozen door welcoming you. But what waits for me there, Eivor? What waits for me? A traitor's death for a treasonous fool. He was the hero in tales he told himself. A Saxon who loved his homeland. You cannot begrudge him that. There is something in that. No more Saxon kings, Eivor. I am through playing the puppeteer. The fate of this shire rests on my shoulders alone. You'll take the crown yourself, and the extra burden it brings. I will. But I will not rule alone. My friends, my allies, will keep me standing upright. Let us talk of our alliance and your king to his winter kingdom. I struggle to be surprised. It is caught off guard, but I should not have been. A fog set in and I could not see the forest before me. Old friend. The ceremony hastens to start. Let's not keep the crowd waiting. Eivor! Yes, let us go. To inscribe our names in history. No more pulling strings. Its throne and its burdens are mine. <laughs> Have you had enough fun? My crowning must come soon! What? To Eivor and the Raven Clan of Mercia, our newest ally in blood and glory! To Hafton King, I lift my horn and raise my brow to speak this praise. Crown Spire, Stout Oak of Valkyries, Spinner of Battle Wisdom, long may you live and rule. Skull! Skull! Ah, <coughs> <coughs> well, we saw that. <coughs> Moira, what is this metal? It's soft, like Roman pipes. Ah, oh, that's lead. A toxic metal. And was it lead that drove the Romans mad? Can metal do this to a man? Oh, God in heaven, yes. The Romans knew this well. And my poor mother, she... She drank for from cups God's like these six, for so far long. Bit. She... You... All these years you gifted me poison! <laughs> you gifted me madness! Old friend, please. Your sickness has clouded your judgment. This sickness was no accident. I trusted you. Cheese your weapon, Farid. Eivor, make this man see sense. He's old, sick, and his mind is unclear. Oh, shit! You want me dead, you lying shit hog? 
I was a fool to not see it. Oh, for God's sakes. Treason must never go unpunished. We won. If any of my clan committed such a betrayal, I would rip his flesh from his bones. You are not the warrior you used to be, old friend. But I still don't know if I've done this intentionally or not. Traitor! Kill him! Feed him to the wolves! Treasonous bastard! Stand and fight me! Old friend, do you remember the days we raced our horses across the length of this land? You were always faster. You always won. Because I let you win, my Arnold. So I will let you win one last time. We will meet once more. In the corpse hall. It's time I go. Hmm? I'm leaving for Mercia, going home. And go with this. A sign of friendship. A bond between our clans, a symbol of the pain and suffering yeah, we'll we took through like the peace. Collecting the Ten Rings. I hope we were right about him. <laughs> 